It's time for another edition of The Double Shot. I was looking at this story back in 1992. A four-year-old girl was filmed by her father on VHS, something that existed long ago. And VHS. on it, as this little four-year-old girl, she turns the camera, I'm a Mary Tommy, my boyfriend, or whatever it was. Oh, They're four years on. old. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. not boyfriend, girlfriend. And then the video cuts to years later in which they actually did get married. It's the cutest thing ever. The most adorable thing of a psychopath girl and a guy who clearly didn't live up to expectations. <laughs> because as I was watching this clip on the Today Show, I couldn't help but think to myself, committing to a marriage at four years old is really placing all your eggs in one very tiny basket, hoping that the guy becomes something, keeps his boyish good looks, yeah. uh, that you perceive them to be at four years old. Uh, he most definitely did not. He is not a good-looking person, and she decided to stick with him, which then makes me think about her being a psychopath, because she looks attractive. She's an attractive woman she, who now settled because at four years old, someone pressured her into, you know, hanging out with Tommy. Do Are we allowed to post the video, or could people do people have to go find the video? Here's the video. Who's going to be your boy at your marrying? I don't have any. Only Timmy. Timmy? Yeah. Timmy who? Nixon. Nixon. Oh. <laughs> she still looks very excited to be marrying him. Mm -hmm. You saw it at the at yeah, the, uh, she's a crazy at the altar. She's like jumping up and down, which is. I wasn't sure my reaction to that. I was if your wife at the age of four said she wanted to marry you, you'd be creeped out. Okay. So you would be creeped a little, out. I have to give you a little background for from my family. This story hits a little differently with me. My parents met when they were three and four years old. Did they commit to a marriage? I don't know if they committed to a marriage, but they went they went steady or whatever you, you did back in the 60s. Um, they went steady. That means you hold hands. That's your going to fourth third base well when they were like in junior high or middle school or whatever it was they they were it used you know, to be a thing they were kind of a yeah. thing and then and then they where they were apart for years and then they got back together and then they got married very young uh at like 19 and 20 which is pretty mm -hmm. young to get married and now they've been nowadays married for, it is it wasn't married for always like that almost yeah. 51 years it's a long time to be married so it can work i'm uh I'm obviously excited for them that they uh, stayed together all these years. Divorced within two years. You think so? Yeah. Now Just can't live up today to the, show pressure. There's a lot of pressure now. This yeah. video is going to get in front of them, and now she's going to start to really rethink. He's probably going to be the one who rethinks He's it gonna, She looks really eager. Yeah. What's good? There's something. What's, why did I settle for this? Is there a screw crank crank loose woman, here? That's right? what he's wondering. Yeah. But then he could be saying, well, I did not turn out to be very attractive. And he and has long hair. Him. And so then you also question what he's doing. I question them. They Maybe might, actually they will. They might be a perfect fit. Because they're both actually. insane. <laughs> well, I mean, other than that, it's a wonderful couple. They're very adorable. And we wish them all the best. Mazel tov. We'll see you next time. Hey, it's Jason Rance here with Scott Rurucka from Legacy Group Capital. He's their CEO. So let's talk about someone who wants to invest in real estate. They don't quite know where to go, what to do, where to start. But they do know, obviously, that right now the market is really, really hot. So you're the place to do it. How do you help? Yeah. So how we help is, you know, we've been investing in the greater Seattle area for over 20 years. And we have a, a, a historical track record that is we're, we're super proud of. Um, double digit returns uh, over time uh, with no investor losses. And if you can find somebody else out there that's done that, you should probably talk to them. And how we really do it is we're lending on real estate. And we're also acquiring real estate and building it and developing it. All those things go come out of a fund that people invest into. So there's lending and there's acquisition. And then we share in profits with all of our investors on both those activities. Uh, Jason, most people can't do that on their own. They're not going to go develop properties. They're not going to go be a bank and lend money. But they can jump in with us and they can be that developer and they can be that lender. But it's underneath our umbrella with a 20-year track record that's unparalleled to anything that you'll find out there. We've been told that we're one of the best-kept secrets in the Pacific Northwest. I don't want it to be a secret. I want everyone to know just about what it is you do. The Legacy Group Capital family of funds offer short-term 90-day investments at 7%. Longer-term investments, they've averaged double-digit returns. 
Just go to LegacyG.com.